Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 840 G8 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside to access your storage. Uh, this computer actually has a solid state drive for storage. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you only have five screws here, three up top, two near the middle. And after you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than the plastic ones do. So take a small, flat plastic pry tool and then go across this seam all the way around the bottom case, all the way here, inside here, and slowly, gently pry off that bottom case from the rest of the computer. Now, as far as bottom cases go, this one wasn't very bad. This was an easy bottom case to pry off from other laptops that I've worked on. After you get the bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet. These are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies like that to get into your computer and to make your work area safe, as well as any replacement parts, the batteries, hard drive, RAM, fans, any components in the HP EliteBook 840 G8, I'll have a link up top, also below in, in the description. It'll be a collection of all the tools and supplies that I use on this project, as well as any replacement upgrade parts for this computer. Before touching anything in a computer, guys, I always consider it a best practice to remove or at least unplug your battery. So here's your main computer battery right down here. There are four screws holding this battery in on top. One here, one here, one here, one here. So all four battery screws on top. In order to get the battery out, you also have to take this speaker wire here. See how the speaker wire goes along the bottom of the battery? That's kind of stuck in there. So you got to make sure that the speaker wire is not connected to the battery before you just go rip that battery out. You could damage your speakers. After that, guys, this is your battery plug right there. Some of you may have a black piece of tape over it. As seen here, when the computer was first opened, you may have to take that black piece of tape and just bend it back a little bit. But after that tape is removed, you can unplug this. Now, as with any wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires. Uh, put your fingernails on either grip there on that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers or something other than pulling on wires if you can help it. And you can just jimmy that plug right out of that port. So after your battery is at least unplugged, we're safe now to proceed deeper into the computer. Your solid state drive is right here. There's a metal plate that goes over it, but this isn't screwed on. So you can just wiggle that off to access your solid state drive. As you can see here, the metal plate has been removed and there's your solid state drive. It's an M.2 port. There's a single screw right there on top in the middle that holds it down. Once you unscrew that, you'll be able to pull this solid state drive back up out of this port and you can replace or upgrade it. Now again, this is an M.2 port. Uh, you can get a 500 gigabyte, you can get a terabyte, two terabytes. The size is, is kind of up to you. And as I mentioned before, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have a list of all the tools and replacement parts for this model computer. And I'll have several options for the solid state drive. I'll have a 500 gigabyte, a terabyte, and, and a two terabyte. Um, in case you guys want help upgrading. So I hope this video was helpful, how to get in here, get at your solid state drive. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free to. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.